Mike, thank you. City leaders in Portland announced that the new presumptive positive case in Maine is a city employee. And we know that employee is a man in his 50s who worked at the India Street Public Health Center, so that clinic is going to be closed for two weeks. City officials say he came into contact with 23 other staff members and seven volunteers. The person who is presumptive positive and the 30 others are all in self-quarantine. Portland Mayor Kate Snyder joins us now in studio to talk more about this. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Um, now, we are learning this this afternoon. City Hall closed earlier today. How long will it remain closed? To be determined. So the um, decision was made to close City Hall at 3 o'clock today. And that was right after a press conference that we held talking about the importance of planning and making sure that we're doing everything that we can be to be aggressively uh, cautious. Um, so after the press conference, uh, senior leadership uh, went into a meeting and they're still in that meeting determining what's the best uh, route forward in terms of keeping people safe because as we are learning more and more every hour, it's this social distancing that's going to help us uh, slow the spread of this virus and City Hall wants to not only keep employees and, and the public um, safe but also set the, um, set the right tone and model the behavior that we hope will help um, stem the spread of the virus. And I know right now department heads are still meeting trying to figure out not only will City Hall reopen, but can workers telecommute? What do you, what's the latest? That's on right. That? That's right. And there's so many considerations, as you can imagine. Um, some, I'm, so I'm sure, some employees can effectively telecommute. Um, others who need to interact with the public because somebody's coming in to renew, let's say, their car registration, obviously you can't. Um, unless it's an old registration, you can do it online. Um, Always so, a good idea. Anyway. Yeah. So <laughs> all of these, you know, I think it's department by department. Um, certainly, the folks who work in the um, w with the emergency shelter. Uh, those folks are going to be there. Um, uh, public health and health and human services probably have more um, pulls on their time than maybe some folks who work in departments that could effectively work from home. The Centers for Disease Control is tra telling all travelers to avoid cruise travel. And we know that Portland uh, does welcome cruise ships pretty soon here. Um, what is the latest with that? So the latest is that we were expecting two cruise ships to Portland at the end of April. They will not be coming. Um, so that's the, that's the extent of the information that I have on the season. Right now we're just seeing it through the end of April. Um, but a lot of folks have been asking that question, what happens when folks get off cruise ships and make their way into Portland? We have time, but for now the word is no cruise ships in April. Now we were talking about telecommuting at City Hall. You've just gotten word about a, a large private business that's going to be doing that. Yeah, I did. Um, I heard from the CEO of Bernstein Schur, a large law firm in town, that they're actually going to start telecommuting with all of their employees starting Monday for two weeks. Um, to be sure, uh, the law firm will be fully functioning, open for business. People will just be working remotely. And I, um, I appreciate what they're doing. I think that it's a good example of um, kind of contributing to um, efforts that hopefully will keep l more people safe and will stem the, um, the infection. Right. Portland Mayor Kate Snyder, thanks for being with us tonight. We really appreciate My it. My pleasure.